Okay guys, so before we proceed, remove shelf and frozen items from the deep freeze, unplug your deep freeze, use a flat head to price out the clip, and then remove the screws with a Phillips screwdriver, do not use the same flat head. Your freezer, your fridge will vary on whether there is two, one or in the four corners, so check before. So before you completely take out the jaw, make sure if there's any clip you unclip it first check behind so this part is where the coolness is created in the deep freeze and there's a vent down there to push the cold breeze through so i just sprayed off some of the ice on this and i'll be cleaning out the fan to help circulate the flow of cold breeze so this is what the multi-flow looks like so in the deep freeze it blows the air up here and this is your dial so as you guys can see it's on regular the minimum there's normal and there's freezer max so i cannot turn this dial right now and here is where the air have to come out for the deep freeze there's a fan behind and this is which part the air will be pushed to the bottom of the fridge to circulate the cold breeze in the back here now is the exhaust fan so the fan is working perfectly fine and this is the clip right so the problem that we are having is that if you look inside there you will see the switch that i now showed you that has to be turned so but it's ice what was holding it from turning so you guys see i'm getting it to turn right now so just this five minutes out cause it to defrost and I'm about to knock out, shake out whatever ice is in it. It just fell on the ground. This is the ice that was formed inside that was blocking it. And that's it for the process. So to reattach this, all I have to do is place it back in and screw in the two screws put back in a bracket that I showed you before. So this is not the first time something like this has happened to me. Um, about five years ago, when we were living in Lockata, we actually had to replace our fridge. And the reason for that was that the fan wasn't working. So in a scenario like this, the fan is actually higher up. So when that blockage starts, the fan will not be targeted first, but you will start to realize that the bottom of your fridge is not cooling as much as before so what i will tell you to do is contact a technician to check it out i am actually skilled in electrical installation and to do some small appliance repairs so i know what i'm doing so that's why i could take the chance to open the machine but anytime you do something like this take note you void your warranty but i am accustomed to these type of things and it will get worse like if i left it so for longer then the ice would have keep building up because there was no way for the cold breeze to go below and then it would have frozen the make the fan frozen and when the fan is frozen there will be no circulation of air below and everything below would have remained hot so you guys saw how simple that was if you have a fridge that has no warranty or given some problems now you know what could be the problem it could be your fan and before that technician takes it take away a machine and tell you so 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 they go check it out because my experience with a fridge before was horrible i paid 50 dollars to the guy to come home and inspect the fridge he told me it would be 500 to replace the fan i paid the 500 to replace the fan and then when he dropped back the fridge to me he told me 500 was the cost of his labor and you guys seen how easy this was for me to do this repair basically is five to ten minutes tops and the fan did not have to be replaced nobody is conning me and all of that is why i picked up myself and learned a trade electrical installation and industrial welding so i hope this video was informative and you learned something new today 
and thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe and also check out our playlist for our daily vlogs cooking vlogs baby on board series and many more bye